Ravenscraft here from PodcastAnswerMan.com and GSPN.TV. And I'm going to, as quickly as possible, try to show you uh, with this video tutorial how to use iTunes to subscribe to a podcast. Now, many people are telling me, hey, Cliff, I found you as a result of a Google search on a specific topic, and then I saw this website of yours pull up, and it's got this button, and I started listening to your content. I'm hearing you talk a lot about subscribing to the podcast, thanking people for subscribing. There'll be a new episode delivered but I don't understand what's going on. What what does I mean? I've heard a lot about this podcasting stuff, but I don't I, I don't understand how can I benefit and have that delivered directly to me. Now the truth is there are multiple ways to subscribe to podcasting content, and what you need is a a program what we call a a, a podcatcher. It's a crazy term. I don't like it myself, but anyway, it is what it is. And one of the most popular tools for subscribing to podcast is iTunes. And so today what I want to do is I want to show you how you can use iTunes, which is completely 100% free to subscribe to a podcast. Now, if you just go to iTunes.com, it will pull up a website that looks something like this. All right. And of course, as I'm recording the tutorial, it looks like uh, version 10 is the most uh, recent version. Now, of course, I'm currently looking at this on a Mac. So if I click here to download iTunes, it will pull up another page that looks like this. And one of the things that I will tell you is if you're on a Mac, it's going to give you the Mac version. Uh, it's going to ask for your email address and it's going to have these things checked. If you don't want to give them your email address, you should be able to just uncheck those two and then click the download button. Now, let's just say you're on a PC. All right. So this might look a little bit more familiar to some of you. iTunes 10 for Windows XP, Vista, or Windows 7. Again, if you uncheck those and just click the download button, then that will download. I'm going to load up iTunes. So let's just say we just installed it. And I'm doing this one on a PC, by the way. And this is what pulls up by default. This is a brand new installation of, um, win of iTunes. And so far, if you click over here on the music library, there's nothing inside of here. If you click in movies, there's nothing inside. TV shows, podcasts, radio, nothing there at all. Now, one of the ways, well, actually, there is radio stations. That's built in. But anyway, if you click on where it says store, now, again, it, the store might indicate that you're going to go buy something, but that's not necessarily the case. But what you can do is you just go into store, and then what's, what's going to happen here is that's going to load up a, the iTunes main store website page. And then I'm going to click up here in the search box. And I want to do a search for, let's say, um, gspn.tv. All right. And of course, it's going to show you iPhone applications. And then, of course, it's going to show you podcasts. Now, if you do a more general search like the TV show, let's say if you do Lost in the search. It's going to give you music, uh, TV episodes you can buy. So again, there's the TV episodes. If you scroll down a little further, it's going to show you uh, the you know the albums that you can buy. Let me scroll a little bit slower with this here. Anyway, there, you've got these soundtracks and stuff like that. There, it looks like there's some audio books that you can buy, and then there are books. There's music videos, movies, iPhone applications, and yes, way down here, look what you find you find podcast and here's the gspn.tv weekly podcast. So when you do a search and let's just say you wanted the gspn.tv weekly podcast, you just click on here. Uh, you could just click subscribe right away, by the way. But if you wanted to, you could come in and you could read a little bit about this. It says Lost Podcast devoted to the hit show Lost. Cliff and Stephanie have been podcasting every week since December of 2005, turning the casual viewers into the... Anyway, you could read all about the description of these podcasts. Now, if you want to actually... Uh, have a listen to to what the quality of a show is before you subscribe to it. You could click play, and it should play back some audio there. Now I am doing this through the Windows system on, the screen, on a podcast piece, episode number five hundred. Entertaining, education. All right, so I can hit stop. But let's just say, okay, now yes, I do want to subscribe to that. So I just actually click this button here that says subscribe free, and that is going to subscribe me to that podcast. And it says. Are you sure you want to subscribe to gspn.tv weekly lost podcast free feed? And it says the most recent episodes will appear in the podcast section of your library, which, by the way, is up here. All right. And then, of course, it says here future episodes will be downloaded automatically as they become available. And you can hit subscribe. Now, each time you subscribe, it's going to pull up unless you check mark this box, 
which says don't ask about subscribing again. So I'm going to tell it not to ask me anymore and just go ahead and automatically subscribe me. So I just subscribed to the Weekly Loss Podcast. And if I click over here, you can see actually on the left-hand side, it shows that there's something downloading. And if I click here on Podcasts over on this list, now it could be in your system that it might look like this at first, which is uh, a big, it just shows like the album artwork. Now it's not going to show any album artwork until this is finished downloading. So let's give that just a second. Okay, so there's the artwork now. And of course, then um, it, it's going to show you that that ep episode is there and there's one episode. And in each time there's a new episode, it'll actually give you a, a little badge up here to tell you how many. I don't like this view myself. So if you look over here to the right-hand side of the window, um, you'll see a, a thing where it says show items in uh, show items in a song list. And so you want to click that. At least that's what I want to do. Because then I can actually see right here, this is the podcast that I've subscribed to. Here's the most recent episode. It automatically downloaded by default. And it shows me in the RSS feed the other available episodes. So if I want to actually get episode 261 and 260 of this podcast, I can do so by just clicking the Get button. And it will start downloading those. And I can play them right here from iTunes. So I can just double click here on the screen. Podcast episode number 500. Entertaining. Educ and if I wanted to see that artwork when I hit play, it's right there. Now, let's just say I want to go on and subscribe to another podcast. So I go into the store and let's just say I want to do, uh, I want to look up social media. And uh, hopefully my podcast, Social Media Serenity, will be in there somewhere. So we're going to do a Google search for so social media, or not a Google search, but an iTunes search for social media. All right, and there's the iPhone apps, there's the iPad apps, and we want to scroll down to where we see podcasts. And so I'm going to click here to hit see all, okay, and I'm going to be looking for social media serenity. I noticed that my podcast answer man actually shows up in social media, which is very cool. And here is my social media serenity. So if I actually click on gspn.tv social media serenity, and of course, it's going to show the description of that podcast and I can preview it over here just like I did before. You can see the artwork. I'm just going to go ahead and click the subscribe button. And you're going to notice that this time it didn't ask me, are you sure you want to subscribe to this? Because I told it not to ask anymore. So now I go over here to click on podcasts. And because I'm in list mode, you'll see that there is a little, you know, there's social media right here. Social Media Serenity, Weekly Lost Podcast. Now you'll see these little down arrows. If I want to, I can just put the arrow to the right and it will hide all the things that are below. Or I can hit this arrow and it'll drop down and show you all the things that are available. So right now it's automatically by default going to download the most recent episode and it's going to just make the other ones that are there available for you to download. So we could actually click one of those if we want to. Or if we only want the most recent episode, we can, of course, go in and highlight all of those and then uh, right click and hit delete. And we can just remove those and just say, you know what, I'm not going to ever go back and listen to those old episodes, but I, I want to start listening from this point forward. And so I'm just going to highlight those and hit delete. But let me show you, if you come down here in this list where it says unsubscribe and then it's got settings and there's refresh. Well, if you hit refresh, it's automatically, regardless of whatever your settings are, if you hit refresh, it will automatically go and check all the podcasts that you're subscribed to and go and immediately see if there's anything new available. So you can do that at any time. But let's go over here to the settings for just a second and click that. Here's what's set up um, per, uh, by default, it looks like here. And uh, we're going to do, we're going to look at settings. Right now, because I have highlighted the social media podcast, it's going to show me the settings for social for that particular podcast. But let's go up here and change that in the drop down to podcast defaults. All right. And you can actually set these settings. And whatever you do here, it's going to say check for new episodes. And let's just do this. Uh, you can set it for manually, so which is only when you hit the refresh button every week, every day, or every hour. I set mine for every hour. Again, I leave my podcast, I leave my iTunes open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and every hour it checks to see if I have new episodes to download. And then I'm going to go in here and just do the settings for, for the default. And it says here, when new episodes are available, I want you to release or download the most recent one, download everything, or do nothing. And do nothing basically just says, it will show you that there's a new episode there, 
but it's not going to download anything unless you click the get button uh, that you saw earlier. So what I want to do is actually keep it to where it says download the most recent one. All right. So when new episodes come in, download the most recent one. And then episodes to keep. So it's like after I found a new episode, what you what do you want me to do with the other ones? Do you want to keep all episodes? Now that's what I do. And I manually delete episodes after I've listened to them. Or it'll say, do you want me to just keep the ones you haven't played yet? Do you want me to keep the most recent episode? Do you want me to keep the most recent four episodes, 10 episodes? I leave mine as keep all episodes. All right. And I click. Now, once you have okay. these podcasts on your iTunes, if you happen to have an iPhone or an iPod or an iPod Touch, all you need to do is plug in the USB cable uh, to your, your computer and plug in, plug in the other end into your, your portable iPod device and it will immediately pull up something that looks like this. What I'm doing right now is I'm just plugging in my iPhone. All right, so I'm gonna plug in my iPhone and I'm not doing anything else. I'm not hitting any buttons. And in just a second, it's gonna say, oh, you just plugged in Cliff's iPhone, which is right here. All right, so if I click on Cliff's iPhone, you can see right now it's it's backing up everything that's on the iPhone and it does this automatically. And there you go. Now it says iPhone sync is complete. Now, if I go up here on the tabs at the top, you'll see that there is a section called podcasts. And when you click on that, it will have, by default, it will be unchecked. But you want to check this mark or box where it says sync podcasts. I just tell it to automatically include all episodes of all podcasts. Then you come down here to the bottom where it says sync, you push that button, and from that point forward, these settings will be remembered. If you have it set up and it's been more than an hour since the last time you had iTunes open, as soon as you open up iTunes, it's immediately going to go and check for new content. Now I wanna go subscribe to another podcast. So let's just say we're on a website. Um, let's go to podcastanswerman.com. Okay, so when you're on a site that is like this, uh, it, it's very often that you're gonna see, if it's a podcast site, you'll see a little... Uh, some some buttons and let's click the iTunes icon and find out what happens and it's gonna say wait a second okay Google Chrome needs to launch an external application to handle this are you sure you want to do this and what it's doing is it's asking can I load up iTunes for you to subscribe to this podcast and just go ahead and click the launch application button and watch what happens it's gonna take you to that podcasts website where you can see the podcast and then subscribe to it. And so therefore you didn't have to go searching for Podcast Answer Man. I gave you a link right from my website to find it. But here's helpigotamac.com. And at the bottom of the, of the description here, you'll see uh, there's a Zoom button, an iTunes button, and an RSS. Now this, is, this, is pro this button's programmed in a different way. So instead of taking you to the iTunes store, I'm gonna click this button and watch what happens. I click that button and it immediately says, hey, wait a second, this thing's trying to launch a program. And of course, it's trying to launch iTunes. All right, so we're gonna tell it to go ahead and launch the application. Again, it'll take away that reminder each time if you click that little checkbox. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell it to launch the application and look what it did. Even It didn't even have to take me to the iTunes store to hit subscribe again. It just immediately put that right inside of my iTunes for me and it's automatically downloading the most recent episode and it shows me the other episodes that are available. If you have an iPod or an iPhone or an iPod Touch or whatever, you can just plug that into your computer and it, and then go through this, you know, this settings process over here and tell it that you want to sync your podcast and hit sync. And from that point forward, um, you won't have to hit, even hit the sync button. As soon as you plug in your iPod Touch, your iPod or your iPhone, as soon as you plug it in, it'll automatically take all the new content that's on, you know, the, the new podcast content, it will immediately just put all of those new episodes on your phone from that point forward. You won't have to do a thing. So my friends, that is how you subscribe to a podcast using iTunes. I hope this has been helpful. And of course, I encourage you to go to, go to gspn.tv slash shows and just read through the list of the description of all the shows that we produce here at gspn.tv. We're sure that you'll they'll have at least one or two shows that you'll like. And uh, we, we hope that that's the case. God bless you all. Thank you for tuning in. And until next time, join the community.